watched the lecture. A few people are trickling in that maybe have just watched the lecture. And as I said on Thursday, there's just one or two things on the video lecture I said that I didn't think were correct anymore. And basically, the main one that I said in the lecture is I said the train modification tools were still under development, and I don't think that's correct. I'd say that there's a few wrinkles to be ironed out, but basically the terrain modification tools are good to go, and we're going to use them in this workshop just like you have in a couple of previous workshops. And then another thing that came up just briefly on Thursday, and I wanted to follow up on it, is somebody in the chat had mentioned if you have a uh, levee or some high ground that's not in the terrain, you could add the high ground with a terrain modification and then do a brake line instead of doing an SA2D connection if I want to use the proper name instead of my hydraulic structure name. And that's true. So I was thinking about that over the weekend, what the various trade-offs would be. We don't have any experience doing that because this is a new feature. So one of the main things I thought about would probably be different about it is if you added the terrain modification and raised the ground and then modified the faces with a brake line, that feature would not show up as an SA connection. So under this connection menu right here under the geometry editor, and then over in RAS Mapper, it wouldn't show up as an SA connection. It would just be a brake line. So there's good and bad things about that. So I've gotten a data set. I think it might, well, it doesn't really matter who it's from. But you can have these data sets where you have raised rose bed, raised, a tongue twister, a raised road bed. And every little road bed, if it's not in a terrain, is added as an SA connection. And I've seen it where there's been 500 or 700 SA connections because each one had to be a connection added separately because of how it worked out. That menu you can get overwhelming. So it's like, well, that might be a good candidate to just do that as a terrain modification and a brake line. On the other hand, if you actually have a constructed levy, you might want it to actually show up in this SA connection and have outputs. It's kind of up to you. I don't really know. You have to play around with it. If you do this, I think it's fairly obvious. But if you do a terrain modification, you'd want to do one shape file to do the terrain modification part and then use that same shape modification file to do the brake line to make sure they line up, at least as your first attempt. I think that'd be fairly obvious. So like I said, I haven't really played around with it. That would be an option. And then the other thing I said is I said that the uh, levy does not get added automatically to the terrain, which is true. We don't automatically add that. And I'd like to see that get a little more automated. But you can add the levy manually, and we're going to do that in the workshop. So that's really the only thing I said that I thought was out now incorrect on the video lecture.